Hey, it's Blake here, and we're talking about a new niche that's absolutely blowing up and changing people's lives for the better. This is a huge change. Uh, certainly wasn't this way two years ago or five years ago, but now I'm seeing people make thousands and thousands of dollars selling what was previously useless or at least worth very little. If you want to know what I'm talking about, please stick around because this is a big one. First off, big thanks to everyone who has subscribed, comments, and like these videos. I really appreciate you. And what I also appreciate is things that are worth a lot of money that I can buy for cheap. And this item, I've seen at tons of thrift stores uh, in the condition that it has to be to sell for these huge prices. And what I'm talking about, I'm sure you've heard about them, I'm sure you've seen this going for 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or more sometimes, is sealed VHS tapes. Sealed VHS tapes from days of yore. I'm filming this video on October 5th, and so these are five titles that sold today. Four of them for over $100. We've got Scream sealed. We've got Dolph Lundgren as the Punisher. We've got Star Wars 1992. And we have The Last Starfighter. All of these titles, all of these sealed VHS tapes you could have bought for 25 cents at a thrift store. So right about now, I bet a lot of you out there are saying something along the lines of But it's too hard for me to do this because now everybody else did it and I, ju I just missed the boat, I guess. WRONG! You haven't missed the boat. Not only are there thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of sealed VHS tapes still for sale at garage sales and thrift stores around the country, there are also sealed VHS tapes for sale on eBay, right here, Shaft. Seven dollars. The thing about this niche is it's brand new. There was not a sales history of E.T. or Scream selling for this much money, so it's all speculative. And you can be a speculator too, right? You can cash in on that speculation by buying things like Shaft for really cheap, seven dollars, ten dollars, and list them at ninety. List them at 150 and see if someone else out there values it more than you do. See if they're speculating on a higher sale price down the line. And this brings us to the video's natural conclusion. What are people doing with these VHS tapes? They're not watching them. Clearly no one's buying, I mean, I would hope not, buying a $200 sealed tape and then playing it when there are DVDs out there that have a much better quality uh, than a VHS tape. So what they're doing for the most part is holding these and using them as an investment or maybe, you know, very expensive wall art. There are services out there that grade VHS tapes the way trading cards or now video games are graded. People trust these grading companies or at least they trust the idea of grading companies because certainly they are not without scandal and because of this trust in some sort of universal value system, they believe that if I buy this tape for $500, I'll sell it for $10,000 down the line. Is it a hedge against inflation? Are they just tracking the, uh, the price of modern art? I don't know that for sure, but I do know that there's movement in this niche, and I want you to make some money on this. If you're going to sell these VHS tapes, list them on eBay, list them on Mercari, list them on Etsy, pretty much anywhere they are moving, I'd say eBay and Etsy are your best options because Etsy's more antique and eBay is like the biggest secondhand marketplace there is out there. Go in your basement, go in your attic, go to your grandma's, look for old sealed VHS tapes, and maybe, just maybe, you're sitting on a gold mine. My name is Blake. Thank you for watching. I try to help you make some money. So please, if you like that, subscribe, give it a big thumbs up, and comment below with your favorite VHS tape from your childhood or your adulthood. I don't really care.